Hey guys, TommyBoy601, and today we're going to be taking a look at the CTE on Xbox One for Battlefield 4. Yes, it has finally arrived, and you can finally play the CTE on the Xbox One. Now, if you haven't seen my previous video about how to get into the CTE, go ahead and watch that now. There is a little bit of an, an addendum I want to add to it. So, once you've gone into the preview program, you need to sign up for a Battlelog CTE account. At that point, when you do that and you're part of the preview program, you'll see a little slider that says, My CTE experience is on PC. It will be set there for it will be set there as a default. You don't want that if you want the if you have an Xbox One. What you want to do is click that slider over to the Xbox One saying, I want my CTE experience to happen on Xbox One. At this point, it will start to trigger things within DICE's servers that say, Oh, this person, this account needs to go and get a download of the CTE. It took me about two weeks after I clicked that thing to get a message from DICE on my Xbox saying, we see that you are part of the preview program. Can you do this quick survey? It's a two question survey. It's really simple. Once that happens, um, they said they're going to be sending out invites weekly. Um, I think I got in like the first round of invites because it took quite a while to get the CT up and running. So, with all that out of the way, let's take a look at the physical CTE. So what the CTE is currently running is what's pretty much going to be the summer patch. There's a lot of cool little changes, and but the one cool thing that is being run in the CTE for Xbox One is the night version of Zavad. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful! It's so good, there's such great ambiance when you play this game. With the night mode of Zavad, things are very different just because there's like a thick layer of fog that surrounds the whole map. So you don't have very long lines of sight in addition to the fact that it being pitch dark beyond a couple of things. Things like tack lights, flashlights, flares all come into their own on this map and it's great. But I think one of the favorite moments I've had while playing is just get hopping into any vehicle like an LAV or the, or the anti-air and just driving around because all the vehicles now have flashlights on them. And when you play, there is an ambiance that, that is created with with those lights it feels like you're almost like in a horror movie or something like that like you don't know what's out there for you but you definitely feel completely different than how you do on all the other battlefield maps because like in the ba in battlefield or the rest of the battlefield you can always look all the way across the map and see your enemies and kind of playing ahead with this you are very much isolated to like a 50 meter bubble where you you know for a fact what's within 50 meters you can kind of make that out really clearly but beyond that, it's either fogged or hazy or complete. it's not bright enough to actually really see. And as a result of that, you have smaller scale battles over just random places because everyone is in their own microcosm as far as, as far as playing goes. One of the good but bad things about the CTE is that when you get in, you have everything unlocked, all the guns and all the attachments for, for the gun. And what that means for Zavad is almost everyone has iron envy and i feel like that the the reason it is compounded on on ct is the fact that because everyone has everything everyone's just going to use the iron envy and that's 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 that can be really frustrating and concerning just because half the time you'll get killed by someone who's only you'll get killed by people who are just using the iron envy because they can and because it's so much more effective of a weapon you can what you can literally do is lie down with a gun that has an iron v and a silencer and the only way someone's going to be able to pick you up is if they also have an iron v i'll put a clip up right now where i literally you cannot see a guy i aim with an iron v rpk i take a couple shots i make a headshot from across the map and he's down he had no idea i was there and to be fair i kind of felt like a jerk for doing it but i just wanted to see just how bad it is and oh my gosh i'm it, this could be one of those things that maybe once we get back to vanilla, once it's put in with everyone else where it, not everyone owns an IRNV yet, there there will be a much better balance. But as of right now, because everyone has access to the IRNV, there is just tons and tons of IRNV silencers. And that's what, what Zavad Knight has pretty much turned into on, or at least on the Xbox One CTE. The Zavad Night Shift map is great. It's amazing. The tones and all that fun stuff is just on a level that you haven't, we haven't really seen in Battlefield before, and the way you play the game on is a paradigm shift compared to the rest of the maps. I don't know if I could continuously play that map. I can't wait for it to be in the server rotation because it's just such a breath of fresh air compared to the rest of Battlefield, and that's a lot of fun. So yeah, that's this has been Battlefield 4 CT on the Xbox One. If you like the video, comment, rate, subscribe down below, 
if you're still trying to get into the CTE, message me if you need to get into the Xbox preview program. I will happily add you. Um, just a warning though, I do have to add you as a friend. So if you don't want me as a friend, I'm sorry. I guess don't message me. But if you do, awesome. You're amazing. That's the video, guys. Comment, rate, subscribe down below. I hope you like it. Have a great rest of your day, guys. See ya.